MovieWeb.com. When you saw the film, what was your initial reaction to seeing this world on the big screen? Well, you know, I mean, it's a world I'm so familiar with, and I've kind of run my own imaginary movie when I was drawing it, and, you know, grabbed the individual frames that I drew. It, it was a dreamlike quality to it. It was like seeing that movie again, but fully, fully realised. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, the, the, one of the strangest experiences I've had in the whole of my life, probably. <laughs> Well, now, I've talked with a lot of the actors in the film, and a couple of them said that they'd gone out to dinner with you, and it felt like going out to dinner with their dad at that point. And I'm wondering, do you look at them as sort of your children, or are you distancing that sort of line? Well, I, I, I hope they don't mean it in an age sense, although no, pro no, no, pro no, pro no. probably that is a possibility. <laughs> but, no, I got that feeling, you know, when I went to the set. I mean, I was absolutely charged by, by it all. But I did get that feeling that it was almost like... I don't know, I, don't, I, don't, I, I hesitate to make a religious analogy in this day and age, but it's almost like the prophet returns and <laughs> blesses his acolytes. You know, it's almost, you have done well, my children, this is my benediction. And I, I, I think because they had tried to be so faithful to the book, I think it would have been crushing if I'd come along and said, no, you've got it all wrong, you're nothing. You know, <laughs> I, I, I didn't feel like that. I didn't even consider doing it as a joke. But uh, yeah, I, I did get a feeling of great warmth and great, um, this, desire to please me, which was wonderful, you know. Well, now I want to know, how long did it take you to start like at the end of one street, because I was on the set and it goes all the way around, to go in and out of each building and just take all of this in, because it was so amazing what they did with as far as the set goes. Yeah, I mean, this, this, the fact that these sets had been built was, was amazing. I mean, just to recreate a, a, a New York City intersection, I thought was an amazing work of art, because it felt completely real. Um, and to, I mean, all the kind of interior spaces felt right as well. Dan Dryberg's brownstone and the huge halls of Karnak. But I mean, the particular thing that, that really, really stopped me in my tracks was, was the owl ship, because that was something that I'd visualised so clearly. I'd done cutaway drawings of it. And to actually see that and then get inside it, that was, that was the height of surreality, really. <laughs> Now, did you ever think about putting on one of these costumes just to get the feel of the costume, or is that something you just stayed away from completely? No, I have in my day dressed up as a superhero. I did it for a comic book in uh, England, and actually my, my Facebook page has got me in, in, in that <laughs> costume at the moment from several years ago. Uh, but no, I, I, I would have kind of liked to have a walk-on part, but what, what they actually did was uh, I've got a little signature, which is the letter G for Gibbons in a little box, mm -hmm. and they sprayed that up on various places where there's graffiti in the background. I, I didn't see it when I went to see the movie, but I'm assured that you can really see that in a couple of frames. So that's almost like my little imprimatur on the whole thing. Well, that's what they were talking about is how great this is gonna be when it gets on Blu-ray DVD, is that you can take it and just pause it all the way through and just go back sure. and look at all it, of that. It'll be a bit like reading the comic book. You know, you, you, you'll have seen the story. Now you can go back in and find the Easter eggs. That's gonna be a, a real thrill. Now, can you talk about working on the Tales of the Black Freighter DVD that's coming out in conjunction with the film and what your input to that? I can talk about it very briefly because I haven't had any input with it at oh, all. Oh, I thought you worked on it as no, an No, I've worked on the motion comic. Um, I was a consultant on the motion comic which is the thing you can buy on iTunes, which mm -hmm. is an animated version of the original comic book. Uh, but the Black Freighter, uh, from what I've seen of it, it's not done in the kind of EC horror comic style that I did, but in a more uh, modern kind of manga-esque kind of way. But it looks great. If it looks terrifying and lurid, then that's doing its job. And from what I've seen, yeah, it does.